Becky, I'm so happy. Congratulations. That was a great show jumping ride. Wind blowing everywhere. Just tell us what you were thinking when you were coming in the arena and uh, just the wind was howling. Yeah, right before I went in there, a big gust of wind picked up the rain. The plants were being knocked over on the sides. And I thought, this is either a sign, good or bad. Um, but I tried to take a breath. It actually gave me a good moment in the arena mm -hmm. while the jump crew did a great job to set up all the plants. Yep. You know, and that one, and that one, and that one, I said as they went around <laughs> and set them up so that I wouldn't get a spook on the way to the jumps. Yeah. But um, I was just, you know, really 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 nervous <laughs> that we were going to be able to go out and I just wanted to give him a great last jump around and he just really came out today he was cracking his back and warm up I think I did only four fences oh, well. he's really trying to get into the air yeah. um, with each one of them yeah. and you know it, the round felt like it took forever really okay it really did it was like slow motion the whole, <laughs> the whole way around the round and I got I knew that, that there was an in and out combination after a triple bar yeah. and in the hackamore in the way that he likes to be ridden the idea of really going forward to the triple bar and then he doesn't really want to be touched in front of the fences right. so I knew that was going to, to get a little hard for us and, and I had a rail there in that combination but he made a good job of jumping out of it um, and carrying on and I swear the last line that I did I was so aware like freeze frame ticker tape oh, crowd oh, to the wow. side there's absolutely not a single noise yep. in the place yeah you know and it's one of those where been in first a few times at Kentucky <laughs> and boy you can tell so he ticked one and yeah. I didn't hear the gas like, the gas so I figured we were still good yeah you know and he just kept going down the line and, and what a bittersweet nostalgic feeling to yeah. finish and be done you know but yeah. so happy the way the way that he um, went out there and put his put his game face on and jumped around for me and what was it like I mean the whole crowd was just behind you from the moment oh. you came in the arena I mean just like when you pulled that first rail they knew you had two in hand but the neutrino jump had been coming down all day so it was just like you know everybody was just willing you on what was that kind of like oh it's amazing to have that many people cheering for you and rooting for you you know get any sort of sense of competitors and crowd alike um comments been so much in everybody's mind over the last 10 years at different points yeah. you know he's represented our country many times for multiple short lists and you know he is that off the track thoroughbred that you know, I competed in beginner novice and started at the beginning yeah. and went all the way up through the levels and and you know he's given me through the years that purpose that reason to wake up and the biggest gift of all which is something to dream about yeah and um, yeah, I wish that for everybody yeah and just talk about Comet I mean his last upper level competition such a phenomenal horse I mean just what is what is his career meant to you his career has been everything it's been a reason to get up in the morning it's it's put a smile on my face everywhere we go he's taught me to sit up and be um, noticed you know trot in the dressage arena when yeah. maybe i might kind of want to slip under the radar screen there's no such thing on him yeah and yeah any warm up everywhere you go you know to have people all over the world come up and tell me they think he's one of the best horses in the world yeah. uh, for him to have proven that cross country of the leg and be in metal position that night yeah. and proven it to me and just you know such a such a a, a big heart. I really think he kind of embodies the ups and downs that our sport is about. And the type of horse who's taking care of his rider, um, me, he's taking care of me for his entire career. Yeah. Kept me safe um, through some of the hardest courses in the world. And I'm, it's an honor and a privilege to have finished this way. Well, Becky, congratulations. Thank you so much. We'll miss you on Comet so much, but uh, it's just been an incredible career. And Thank you. to go out with a win here is just amazing. So, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.